Hey guys, welcome back to Drawing with Juni. Today we're gonna be drawing another black uh, paper drawing, okay? Like last time we drew Primal Groudon. Today we're gonna be drawing Primal Kyogre, okay? Or Kyogre. So I'll see you in a second. Oh yeah, and I, did I mention black paper? I think I did, yeah. We'll be doing it again on a black paper. And only using a, a color pencils. No pens. Guys, let's start drawing our primal Kyogre. So I'll use color pencil for this. So I'll be using an ultramarine for the main color. And it's not dark enough. I don't have a dark enough color for primal Kyogre. So I'll be using a black on top of that to make it even darker. Okay. So, and this will be a bit more easier than Primal uh, glued on, okay? It will be easier because Primal Kyogre and he has a simpler shape. But the, he has a lot more designs on him, okay? So first, let's take our Ultramarine, okay? And let's make a curve like this on the top, okay? Now, from here, we'll get the a curve coming back like this, okay? And then, we'll curve it a bit back, not fully, okay? <clears throat> now, we'll just get this a bit more down, okay? And now here, we're gonna take a, a very light and a light red blue basically from our color pencils or whatever you're using okay i'll take this light curly and blue okay so we're gonna um do this so we're gonna get like a line back like this okay then we're gonna make a curve on the top okay then we'll make a curve coming this way then we'll do a line down okay now we'll take a white okay and we'll do a line across first okay so i need to sharpen my white because it's a bit thick right now i don't have a pointy edge and for this part, I need a pointy edge. If you all don't have a pointy edge too, you can do that. Because see, this is flat in here. And I need a pointy edge for this part. Yeah, I got a really pointy edge now. So then we'll do a line down and a line up then. And then we'll curve it in there okay and we'll take up back our blue and do a line down here curve like that okay now this eye part is a little different so we'll take an orange okay and then we'll do another layer like that okay now we'll take our yellow and do the and color this bottom part here okay and then lastly we'll take <clears throat> a, a red or, or a darker orange and we'll color it up over here and then we'll take lastly mm, where is that color up okay, here we go this red okay and and make it darker at this top part here okay now we'll do we'll take back our blue okay we'll take back our blue and here we're gonna draw a line coming this way okay now um, we'll do a line coming down like this okay 
we'll do one more from this side okay coming down like this and then we'll do a curve this way a curve again one more curve and one more curve then let's take our white and make oops oh sorry let's take our white and do a line this way and back so that's for his first kind of finger then we'll do one more on this one and on each of the sockets we're going to do one like that okay good now let's color them in with our white okay yeah i'm just filling them up a bit because i didn't do them too dark too heavily okay yeah now on the other side he has his other um fin or his other hand it looks actually like a hand so we'll do a line coming up then we'll do each of those sockets on the top here four of them and we'll get it curving back in and then let's take our white again and then we'll do the first claw or our finger coming out we'll do one on this side one here and one last one and let's color it in so the main body part we'll color in later okay for now let's just do the outlines mostly so here now we can get this line connecting in here okay um so now if you have an eraser since it's color pencils um it's totally cool if you don't have uh, if you're not using color pencils and you because we need to erase this part it became a too i think too a little okay so i have um eraser so i'm gonna use it and i'll be back in a second i got my eraser okay so um now uh i'll take my eraser and i'm just gonna see if the color pencil gets erased yeah it's getting erased okay it doesn't need to exactly get fully erased because i just need it to be a bit lighter so that we can redo it okay yeah just do it like here okay because we need this whole body part here to get be done okay now let's just dust this off always use a board for this yeah cool so it's not exactly fully gone but i just need it to be really light so, you, so i can redo it okay so we'll take our blue and we'll continue up here okay so we'll do um like a bigger line much bigger coming back there and then curve it then we'll curve it back okay yeah that's much better okay now we're ready to do some designs inside here okay so we'll take this kind of yellow okay and we'll do we'll, we'll turn our paper this way i think so now here we can make a circle like this okay and we'll do two lines down then a circle i mean like a curve line then we'll do a short line down line down we'll do the same thing here okay good now here we're gonna make we need a lighter color actually 
yeah, I found the perfect color. This color. So again, like this, it's much easier with these color pencils because if we did this with the marker, we couldn't uh, do it. We'd have to start it all over again. Okay, so I'm just erasing it again. Sorry if there's too much erasing, but <laughs> that time I thought that color was better, but I didn't see my, uh, my other color there. So, yeah, just a bit of blue got a bit erased. I'm just tracing it again. Yeah. Now let's take that color. So this color is a cream color. It's much better. So we'll do that circle again. Like this. The shape of the bottom of it. And then we'll do the line coming in. Okay. Good. Now we'll do a line coming at the back here. So we'll do a line coming this way all the way back to that. Okay, now let's take our yellow, okay? And and in between of these, in this thing, we're gonna make a few yellow marks, okay? Because that's how it is. A few yellow marks in between. So we'll just do that. Cool. Now, let's take our cream color again. Whoa, some work is going on outside. Okay, so, oh, a lot of these thingies here. Let's put them back on my board. Uh, how did these things fall? I erased it on top of my paper. Yippee! Uh, Today is an exciting day for me. And Primal Kyoga actually is is, is is like 32 feet. That is really big. And his weight is 948.0 pounds. That is a lot. Whew. That's almost 1000. But not more weight than Primal Grudon. Primal Groudon is, I think, the the one of the Pokemon that has the most weight. Okay, so we'll take our cream color and do a big oval here. Okay, let's take our yellow and we'll do another thicker circle inside that. And lines connecting to the sides from the top. Okay. Then let's take, um, yeah, this is the perfect color. This color is called a Spanish orange. And then we'll make a bit of the orange up here. Okay. Now with this orange itself, we're gonna make a line coming a bit back here. Okay. And then let's take a cream color again and bring it in to this line okay basically going into that line okay so our primal kyogre is turning out well isn't it okay so we'll get this cream color itself on, and on the top here we can just do a bit of a curve like this for the other kind of shape like that but it's just on the other side and you can't see it and here we'll do a line connecting into here because like coming out there. Okay. Now here we'll do another oval and we'll color it in. Okay. And then um, we'll take this lighter orange, I mean lighter blue we used earlier and do a line up like this. And we'll do align this way okay and then we'll take um we'll take maybe a black you know a uh, black and get a line back like this okay just a little line then we'll take this cream color and do a square coming up color it in and one more Okay, 
good so primal kaiogas are turning out super well guys you know and um yeah now we're gonna continue so like this like this we're gonna do one on the top here but just a bit more simpler so we'll do a line out blue and then we'll take our dark blue and get our line back in okay so now we'll do a few more designs not on this body but just on the other this kind of fin okay we'll take our red and do a line up like a curve kind of thing up like this then let's do a line across to this and another that kind of shape then let's do the same thing here that kind of shape a line across and a that kind of shape cool now we're gonna take the blue we used earlier and do a thick line like this a line this way line back again this kind of eraser mark came well yeah i did a lot of erasing but it came on the paper now we'll do a big circle here thick and then we'll do the same kind of line coming down okay now let's take the cream okay and fill it the rest in here this cream color is a really good color for primal kyogre even though it doesn't look like cream it's bad it's the best and the cream is not like a kyogre kind of color blue is but mostly right now we've been using the cream okay now um yeah I, and i tried to do this primal kyogre a bit smaller than i did the, the grudon because the problem was that i had to make i had to attach two papers to the grudon and we still might have to do this to primal kyogre but we'll see because his tail is some so two tails come out so they're pretty long okay so we'll take a yellow and we'll do the same thing with this okay then we'll take the orange and color in this circle here okay now we're gonna do the same thing here we already did that red thing we're gonna do it flipped so let's turn our paper upside down so it's straight okay so we'll do thick line up line this way line up and then a big kind of circle line down and this way and line down okay then let's take our cream color and color in this blank here okay and drawing on this um kind of black paper a new style for me i've never done it before except with that primal glue on okay so now let's take our where did it go hey where ah oh, here it is under my leg the yellow okay let's take the yellow and we'll fill it in here a bit then let's take the orange and fill it in inside there so if these designs are a bit hard um or you're you've not finished them you can always pause it and do it okay here okay and you could not also you could also not do the designs if you wanted you could just make it a normal kyogre or something okay so um yeah what do we do now oh yeah let's fill in our kyogre so let's take that dark blue okay and i'll tell you what we're gonna do so first let's just do one this thing i think so let's fill in everything except the other stuff okay not that kind of design there okay just remember that don't fill in that design and you can leave these kind of black spots and gaps and some kind of plates it looks cool then see this is too light for a primal kyogre so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a black 
and we're gonna put a bit on top but not too dark otherwise it'll fully become black so we're putting that so that it becomes a bit more darker see this i'm putting it lightly so it becomes like a dark blue because i didn't have the exact color see that it's becoming like the primary sky ogre color now yeah it's turning out really well our primal guy ogre it's almost better than the grudon actually i think the grudon was my favorite because but this primal guy ogre is probably second because it's really cool okay yeah that's the perfect color for him let's do the other the fin or hand And the outline can stay ultramarine. See that? It's looking really cool. I'm just taking one look at the camera to see how it looks from the camera. Awesome. Looking awesome. Okay. Now, um, we're gonna start doing it with the body. Okay. And I'll guide you along. Um, actually, I'm gonna fast forward this part. Or should I not? Yeah, I think I'm not gonna do that because then if you do something wrong, I wanna just tell you. I should not stay the scream and fill this part up. We didn't do that, but only this part, okay? Only this circle here. Yeah. Now let's take the uh, oh wrong color. Yeah, ultramarine and fill it in. We'll do it quickly, okay? Because uh, because it's it's really easy actually. You just don't need to color on top of the lines. Okay, we're just doing it. And it's okay if it goes a bit on the top of the line, but just make sure it doesn't like fill in something. And this thing will get filled in, in the center, okay? In these little grooves you have to manage, okay? Because it's a bit hard. Don't color in this white part. Oh, actually, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's take our white and color in this part here okay and don't color in the eye okay. this white is a nice color okay yep now let's get back to our ultramarine and let's color in this okay This fin here, you might not really be able to make out it's a fin. Even in the actual primal Kyogre, you can't really make out. But this one you can up here, this one. Yeah, you can make out that one because it's sticking out. It's not like on the body, you know. So, yeah. Let's just go in and do this. Let's do the stop part here. Okay. This new form of art I've discovered of this kind of um, black paper drawing. Yeah, it's really cool. I didn't search up on it. I just felt like hmm, maybe it'll look nice for these for this kind of for these kind of drawings. Because I've started Pokemon now and I'm going to a series. Okay, and by next week I'll only be doing black drawings. On Friday, I think, because I call it Black Friday, and actually there's a day in the in the month called Black Friday, which was I think this Friday or last week's Friday. These eraser marks. How are they coming here? I guess by moving around my paper, they're they're shifting off from the uh, board that I have. Okay, I'll we'll just leave it right now because it'll let you get, get clean later kind of these on my floor okay there's too many there's too many yeah okay so now i finished coloring in everything let's take our if you if you've not you can pause it here and do it okay let's take our black and we're gonna fill it in okay this part is really easy because we're just repeating the same thing on top okay just coloring in but we do have to do this we can't like um make it only this ultramarine 
because primal uh, Kyogre's color is like a really dark blue okay and I, I can't get the exact color but um, if you're doing it on the computer and you know his color you can do it that way then then you can uh, take the exact color probably right so yeah just filling in this we i didn't even do a normal glued on and um, and i already did one um uh, primal glued on same here with this one i didn't do a normal kyogre i've never drawn kyogre before i mean i have listening to another drawing video but i've never drawn it like alone with um, like this without looking at a drawing video okay so yeah i finished coloring in that body and it looks exactly good like the actual primal kyogre's color i mean not actually not a he's just a imagination pokemon but he's a bit funny for a pokemon he's a bit different as you can see okay so um is this ultramarine yeah i think it's got uh I think it's got out of juice, so let's just, let's just fill it up, fill it up with some juice. That's enough for now, okay? So, now let's do its tail. I mean, two tails are coming out, fins. So, we're gonna make a line coming out, a bit like that. And then it's gonna curve back like this. Okay. Now we're gonna draw a short line back and it's gonna come back like this. Okay, now um, <clears throat> we're gonna take our green color, okay, and just fill in a thick layer outside here. Okay, now let's do a line out and coming back. Okay, <clears throat> then let's do another line out, curving like this, coming back, oops, and going back. Okay. Let's take a cream, color that in, and I'm going to take my eraser, this turned out a bit too funny. I'm gonna erase the whole thing, the whole tail actually, because uh, it turned out a bit funny. So I'll be right back with uh, another paper stuff. Okay, do this because it's too small the size of the tail will become. Oh, I can't erase the whole thing off, but I'll see what I can do. One second. I wish I had a black in it, which is like a white in but just gives black color. Then I could put it on top of this. But it still wouldn't look good. So I've done how much ever I can. Later we can fill it in and see. So I'll be right back with another paper stock. Guys, I've come back with a clean paper stock. Okay, so now I have a lot of space. Okay, which is really good. So. I'll take my ultramarine now so that we have so much space I can make this tail all over till here. But that we can't make it that big because then it won't be a primal kayoko. We'll do that line out again with that. Then we'll get a line coming back here. Then it's exceeding extending I meant out here. Okay. Then we'll get a small line back <clears throat> and a line back like that then let's take our cream color and color in here and color in here coming to the top okay now let's make line coming out here a line this way and coming back okay now we'll make a line this way out okay and then one second let me just make my camera a bit darker oh man it got light again so then we make a line this way 
and we'll make it come back then um here we'll make it like this okay and then we'll do another layer of blue here and connect it in there okay good now we'll uh, take our black okay Oh wait, first let's take back our ultramarine and fill in the, these parts with the blue. Okay. Yeah. Good. Almost there. Yeah. Now let's take our black and on the top we'll fill it in. Okay. Uh yeah, we'll just fill it in with the black because we want it to look dark like the other part of the body. Um, yeah, good. Now, let's take the ultramarine again. The lower line this way. Okay. Then, we'll do a line coming here and then extending out to this side as you can see then we'll curve it a bit that way we'll get a line back we'll trace it back there then we'll take our cream and do a layer in there okay let's take our ultramarine and do another layer coming out okay then <clears throat> out of here we make a line coming out and exceeding here then we're gonna do a line this way and a line that way back okay then we'll make a layer here okay and then we'll do a line this way and all the way back okay so now one of the last steps here we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in these this thing all this shape here <clears throat> let's take the black and do it on top okay and yeah we finished coloring and drawing primal kyogre he turned out super well okay guys so um i hope you guys enjoyed if you've not done anything here you can pause it see properly and see if you missed out on something okay and um yeah uh, uh you can subscribe to my channel if you want give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and check out my other videos this was a big black paper so you could also get black papers if you didn't have if you ha I didn't have them now while we are drawing, you could also do it on white paper. It doesn't really matter which paper. I just uh, like this kind of paper, okay, this black paper, so I wanted to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and purchase Prisma Colors and Shopee if you want. And yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.